Welcome to this overview of the tools developed during the Risk Sir project and now maintained by the Santero project. These tools were developed to provide those designing animal surveillance in Europe with science-based frameworks to guide them through the systematic process of surveillance design and evaluation. Please visit the websites for more information on these projects, both funded by the 7th Framework Program of the European Union. The design framework reflects the sequence of steps involved in the development of a surveillance system and its associated components. The evaluation tool includes a decision support tool to help those advising policymakers in the development of an economic and epidemiological evaluation protocol adapted to their needs, combined with documentation on the process, methodologies and communication of outputs. Both tools are composed by a web interface for users to develop a design evaluation plan and are available at this address. Theoretical information on all required concepts is provided in two individual wiki classrooms. As it will be shown, these wikis are also a platform to promote discussion. The tools were not designed to teach surveillance, but to guide competent and technical level users who are already used to designing, implementing, or evaluating surveillance strategies for infectious livestock disease within the European Union. So it will likely not be an individual, but a design team. To get started, you should access the web tool. Type this address directly into your browser. You can pause the video at any time to copy the address or visit one of the project websites or you can even just Google surveillance design framework and you'll find one of the wikis where you'll be presented with a ready to click on link to the web interface. Your first step should be to register to get an account. The process is really simple. You just have to choose a username, a password, and you receive a link. I have created already a username for this video, so I'll just log in. Both tools are available from the top menu, the design tool and the evaluation tool. To use either tool, you need to start by setting your surveillance system. You can create a new surveillance system by providing key information about the surveillance system you are designing, such as surveillance objective, geographical area covered, population, and the non-mandatory fields of risk characteristics and further considerations. Specific details about designing your surveillance system are available in a separate video covering the design tool. You can create a new surveillance system. I will create one for this video. And for demonstration purposes, I will provide only the mandatory information. Pick a name that will help you identify the surveillance system later. Define the state of the disease in the country and the surveillance objective. You can always get help filling in those forms on the wiki, but we'll cover the wiki later. Geographical area. Susceptible population, you can choose as many as appropriate. For help defining the risk characteristics, you should refer to the wiki or to the video on surveillance design. Mm -hmm. And the last field allows you to document further characteristics that are important to think about when defining a surveillance system. All the information entered is saved and there is a reporting function that allows you to save this information as a PDF or an Excel 
or you can view it in the screen in a print view. If you're using this option, we recommend managing the zoom in your screen so that when you print, it looks good in one page. We have just created our first surveillance system, but if you click on list existing systems, you see a list of all surveillance systems you have access to, which include the ones that are private to you, that you have created using your login, and those that other users have created and made public so that anyone can see. We have saved a few case studies and made them public so that all users of the tool can refer to them as examples. Currently, you can see on the top right here that no system is active. You can activate a system by clicking directly on them here in this list or at any point by coming here to this menu. Once the system is active, then you can start using the design tool or the evaluation tool. Specific tutorials on how to use each tool are available in two separate videos. This video is an overview of the tools and how they integrate with each other. In this overview, I wanted to highlight two things. First, what I just showed, that you need to select a surveillance system and make it active before you can use either tool. And second, that both tools are supported by weak classrooms. Links to the wikis are available throughout the web tool. We can start with the Surveillance Design Framework Wiki, which, as I showed in the beginning of the video, you can also find by googling Surveillance Design Framework. The structure of this wiki reflects the structure of the Surveillance Design Tool. On the welcome page, you have the information about the tools. You can find out more about designing surveillance in the design surveillance page. And the other pages reflect the steps one would go through when designing surveillance using the web tool. For instance, we had created our surveillance system and I could have referred to the wiki here for information about each of the questions I had to answer. For instance, when I selected a surveillance objective, I could have referred to the advice here to help me decide what is the best surveillance objective for my surveillance system. You can navigate through the steps here, which are meant to be used side by side with the design tool. This wiki is public anyone can view it. You can also view the discussions. But if you want to post discussions yourself, then you need to become a member of the wiki. For that, you're going to need a join code. You can always write one of us. You can find our contact information in the Santero webpage to receive a membership code. The link on the top here, join, will allow you to create a user login for the website Week Spaces. And by providing the join code, you can immediately become a member of this specific wiki. I am now logged in as a member, so I can not only see discussions, but also post discussions. You can explore the contents of this wiki as support to your process of designing surveillance. And if you decide to become a member, you can also post discussions. We encourage you to post discussions in the frequently asked questions sections. In summary, as you're using the design tool, you would refer to the wiki for help through each step of designing surveillance. If you're using the evaluation tool, 
then there is also a wiki to support you. You need an additional membership code to view and join this wiki, which has general information about the process of evaluation and guides users throughout the steps required to evaluate a surveillance system from planning to implementation and reporting. Additional sections are also available to provide information on economic evaluation, evaluator best practices, and you will find a specific session on the Risk Sir Evo tool, guiding you through the use of the web tool. The users can navigate back and forth between the Evo tool and Evaluation Wiki to get more detailed information on each step of the tool. For example, what's an evaluation context? how to define an evaluation question, etc. The wiki also provides important links to training material, the RiskSir website, and as in the case of the design wiki, there are frequently asked questions. In both wikis, we have created a page dedicated to the virtual summer school of 2016. If you're watching this video as part of this program, please post all discussions into this page. In summary, refer to the web tools to design or evaluate surveillance. Get support through the wikis. Consider becoming an active member and posting discussions or even contributing to keeping the wikis alive and up to date. For a detailed study plan that guides you through the tools, consider visiting the Santero Summer School webpage. There, you will also find links to the two additional videos going in details about each specific tool, recommended reading materials, case studies, and more. You can also find training materials about surveillance in the RiskSir website in the tab Results. Thank you for watching this video and we hope the web tools will be useful to you.